Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet, Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet. I wanna invite you. Yo, 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 what's going on? What's going on? What's shaking? This is Mr. Cab Cabernet, lifestyle connoisseur. And welcome to another episode of Cab Cabernet's Wine of the Day, a division of Crush Grapes TV. And if you don't know by now, Crushed Grapes is a lifestyle. It's very good to see you guys today. Very good to be seen. Uh, I was uh, attending uh, the Drake and Migos uh, show at the, the Barclays Center last couple uh, couple days. And uh, Drake's DJ happens to be a family member of mine and um, hooked me up with some tickets. And um, beautiful, beautiful show. Uh, great show. Uh, Drake is incredible. He's also a big wine guy, whether you knew it or not. He drops a lot of that in, in the uh, music as well. But um, very mature uh, young guy, you know, um, who uh, talks very intelligently about wine and his music. Anyways, um, let's talk about this wine. Okay, we're going to Spain, ladies and gentlemen, one of my favorite regions on this planet. We have, um, it's actually a Torrelongores Tinto, Old Vine Garnacha. Um, it's from Spain, 2014. It's won the uh, Zarcillo, or Zarcillo 2015 Grand Oro Award. Okay, Ganasha, uh, Total and Goddess. So let's talk about this old vine thing, right? And uh, you may or may not have heard the term old vine or seen it on a bottle and say, well, what does old vine mean, right? Um, obviously, old vine is in contrast to new vine. And old vine uh, is usually associated with old world but that's not actually uh, always the case when you plant a grapevine it takes about two years or two seasons to be ready to actually produce grapes so an old vine is a vine that's been planted for many years uh, and, and produces uh, smaller yields of grapes actually because the more grapes you know, they start off producing grapes over the first number of years. It's the vines are full of grapes, right? Um, very fruity um, wines are produced from this uh, ready to drink now type of wines. Whereas as the grapes get older, I'm sorry, as the vines get older, you're talking, you know, 10 years, 15, 20 years, 30 years, the vines start producing less amounts of grapes. The grapes are more concentrated. Uh, you know, there's not all these clusters full of uh, cluster vines full of grapes. There's small patches of grapes in there. They're smaller yields, but they're more. There's more character in them. Just like an old person, you know, the older someone gets, you know, they get wiser. There's more character in their face and in their, you know, in, in their personality. It's the same thing with the grape. The grape is alive, okay, and it has it grows this personality. So. Yes, old vines, uh, in theory, are going to produce a, a more sophisticated uh, wine, right? Um, but here's the kicker. There is no regulation. There is no actual law that states how many years your vines have to be uh, growing grapes for them to be called old vines. <laughs> so, in actuality, a winery could simply just uh you know grow uh, you start growing grapes two years after the after the vines are uh, planted and and then call it uh old vines just for marketing sake right so you got to be careful but this wine itself um is the real deal it actually states on the bottle uh these vineyards are an average of 45 years old that's very important so you got to be careful when you're looking for old vine wines and they don't state that, you know, um, 
you could be drinking an old vine wine that's only three or four years old. It, it's, it's a lot of nonsense. Just like any other industry, politics and bullshit rears its head, its ugly, ugly head. And then you have the dreaded wine swami as well, and he's coming at you, you know, uh, to deceive you on what wines are good and what wines are bad, and you know, don't, don't let him, don't let him deceive you, because he's the devil. The devil is a lie. So let's check out what we got here, okay? Um, this um, this nose is like incredible, okay? Um, <laughs> Let me swirl this up a little bit more. This is, you know, this is red licorice. I feel like a kid in the candy store. Red licorice, uh, Twizzlers, um, Laffy Taffy, like uh, cherry, maybe even watermelon Laffy Taffy. Okay. Now I'm in a. Um, I'm in a, a blueberry patch, strawberry patch. There's a few cherries laying around. The breeze is blowing. And um, I got a little, uh, you know, I'm sitting with my grandfather. He's smoking uh, Cavendish tobacco, if you know what that is, okay? That's a sweet smelling tobacco, pipe tobacco. And this, this has all of these aromas. They're all like really strong. It's a del it's like a delicious medley of a bouquet of these different scents. Let's give it a sip. Yes, yes. Everything I just described, all those flavors, are all in my mouth, okay? The tannins are sweet. There's a long finish. It's just like, uh, you know, the tannins are dancing around the tip of my tongue all the way back, the back of my palate, down my throat. Just like a, a little kid, you know, when his mom calls him to come in from the park and he's jumping on the slide one more time for that last hurrah, you know what I mean? Just sliding on in. This is... A delicious, um, de it's, it's delicious. This might be one of my uh, favorite wines of this summer. And um, the most incredible thing about this wine, believe it or not, is the price point. This wine is about seven bucks USD. I'm going to tell you right now, I, I would pay at least double for this wine. And um, I'm spoiled. I get wines very cheap or free. But I'd pay double. I'd pay at least 15 bucks for this wine. 14% alcohol. Um, everything is there, ladies and gentlemen. This is a uh, hell of a wine for a hell of a price. I urge you to check it out. Uh, TLG. Torre Longales. Torre Longales. 2014 Tinto Old Vine Garnasha. And uh, that is going to do it. Once again, this is Mr. Cab Cabernet, Lifestyle Connoisseur. And you're tuned in to Cab Cabernet's Wine of the Day and the Vision of Crushed Grapes TV. And if you don't know by now, Crushed Grapes is a lifestyle. Sip it slow. Cheers. Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab 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 Cabernet.